What is up everybody and welcome back to The Wolf Among Us uh, Last time I left this they were looking at the dead bitch's body that looked like Snow White But it wasn't Snow White, it was the barmaid's sister And I left this out because it was like super boring and like kind of dragged out uh, oh, He went and told the sure. barmaid and shit nice And uh, now he's I'm here, sure I've seen you here at a, like a strip club or whatever the You're fuck this is welcome. Is it business? I'm a friend of Georgie's. Georgie's the dude who runs the place. Georgie's. Where is he? A friend? Hm. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. Yeah. Okay, so let's go see Georgie. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I have a way with people. I have a way with people. Yeah. <laughs> So I've heard. Oh, what? Don't start something you won't finish now. <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, I'll I'll stop. Um. <laughs> all right. Where's this Georgie bitch? Welcome to the pudding and pie. Where terrible name, by the way. To the diverse tastes of the fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Okay. Skip the spiel. Skip the spiel. Save it for the customers. Always looking for more customers. Haha. <laughs> Damn, that's a, that's a load of shit. Uh, oh, shit. Can I put this in YouTube? I know it's like a drawing and stuff, but like. What do you think you're doing? I can't. I don't think I can show that. You're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one. I don't think I can show that. Can I? Nice place. I might have to. Uh, have oh shit. <laughs> that's good. Can I show that on YouTube? I know it's like I don't, uh It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. How many times do I have to say it? Yo, Georgie. You're supposed to turn the clients on. Hey. Oh, it's you. We're closed. We're closed. I, I I'm pretty sure I can't show that. I didn't say stop. I know, I re I'm really doubtful that I can show this. I might not show that. You! Stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. Leave her alone, asshole. Whatever you say. Well, sure. Okay, but, uh... Yeah, I'm, I, I'm gonna take that out just in case. So if there's, it seems a little jump cutty, it's then? because I took out Here the... For a little taste. Tell you what. Come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Nah, I'm good. Uh, knowing you... She's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target or one that will put up a fight? Ooh. Fuck you, Georgie. Fuck you, Georgie. <laughs> it's the big bad wolf. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Is he trying to come on to him or, or what? <laughs> Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Do you? Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. Swanky pals. We have pals. to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Uh -huh. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, yeah. I assume you knew Lily was glamoured. Of course he was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. <laughs> I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. It's sick. Ha! <laughs> That's quaint. Especially coming from you. Uh, coming the from you. The floor would never provide a glamour like that. Is he Welsh? Strictly black market stuff. Ooh. Black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. Uh huh. But you've got fuck all to back it up. Yeah. Why would you spit? And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Now look at him. Uh, the hair. Get that out of my face. This was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. Yeah. Good luck. She was impersonating Snow White. Uh -huh. Why? Oh, hey, if you say so. Just looks like hair to me. Mm. Anyway, even supposing she was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. I don't need the trouble. For who, then? I don't know. 
She had clients. Maybe one of them was into it. Uh huh. Not a fucked up people. Bet you was the fucking mayor. Like. Bet you was the mayor. Try looking in the mirror. Huh? Anyway, now what to do with me? God damn it. Did he mean like a literal mirror or was he talking about like the mirror mirror on the wall thing? I can't show that, man. You're gonna hit me? Go ahead! That's what you wanna do, right? That's what you came here for, right? One more time. Who hired her? Oh no, fuck! <laughs> You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! <laughs> Fair Be enough. Proud of yourself, mate. Proud of your little mess. It's a boom. Uh-huh. Fuck up, hands. Okay. Hey! Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls. Like the Hansel. Or any of that. As in Hansel no and Gretel. Don't you get it. It's by design. <laughs> I know my shit. Discretion is our guarantee, right? Yeah. The only guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know. Including uh -huh. me. I cover my eyes and take my coat. End of story. Yep. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? A fucking moron. Uh -huh. Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to Freak work about. on your communication really? skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. It's a boombox. Like, I'm sure you could buy another one. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Really? Hey, now. Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Really? Don't even think about it. Look, Georgie, why don't you just tell me where the book is? Yeah. Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. We'll see. Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. Dragon. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. Mm -hmm. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will he come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give me the book. Give me the book. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. You fucking get it. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. Uh, why not? This is a dance club. What the hell am I supposed to do tonight while the girls are on stage? Harmonica, kazoo, whistle a happy tune. Yep. Fucking unbelievable. Bloody come on, men. Ha <laughs> ha, gotcha. Prick. Dick. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's don't get your hopes up. Tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Oh, that book right there, that's not going to tell them anything. This is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. 
I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Ants knows that. Mr. Jones, Mr. What's Smith. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. <laughs> this is your book. Your girls. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. Yeah. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. Uh -huh. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. Mm -hmm. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Yep. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Uh huh. You go for it. Hello, business office. So where she's gone? Where she's gone? I can't even speak English. Me fail English? That's impossible. Why is he looking, the one looking in here? Oh, Lily. She's the one that died, right? Yeah. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Change. Uh, no, 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 no. Jewelry box. box been busted open. No. Broken open, but there isn't even a lock. Yep. Well done, genius. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Apartment. Uh, well, that jibes with what the woodsman told me. Yeah. Yeah, sure. So where's that bitch that was, like, hiding? Is she in here? Excuse me. Oh, okay, she's clothed. I heard you out there. Clothed. Good thing. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. Didn't have a I reason. Didn't have a reason to come here before. Yeah. Is he gonna try her? Try and smash. Or try and smash. You're trying to place me. Sure. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. What? Once upon a time. Does that help? What? She's Ariel. What are you doing here? Same as anyone. It's a place where I am. Where else am I supposed to be? My name is Nerissa. Is it? Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. Yep. You'll have to find those yourself. Uh huh. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? We can't talk about work. Why not? This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. Yeah, but like... It's how things work here. You disappoint me. I'm disappointed. I hoped you'd be helpful. Yeah. This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. Yeah. These lips. Oh, what? Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. What? Pay her? Okay. Does he have money? I, uh, I don't... Uh... <laughs> oh, he's broke. Wait here for a second. What? 
This is super weird. Huh? Not 207? You'll think of something. Sure. The open arms. Yeah, I knew that. Hmm. This is where they met. Yeah. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Uh huh. What were you doing? All right, Open Arms Hotel, the Bronx. What's going on? Don't have any smoke. He just smokes wherever he wants, doesn't he? He just doesn't give a fuck. There's no like health regulations to say you can't smoke indoors in these places. I mean I'm pretty sure that there's health regulations. If the rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. <laughs> uh ring the bell, I guess. Can you not just walk in? Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, huh? Um, you. I work here, okay? Who's that? I work the front desk. I don't know who that is. Pay rent. Should I know who that is? So now you know. I know I should have told somebody. Oh, yeah, okay. Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Well, your secret's safe with me, all right? Let's not make a big thing of it. Thanks, Bigby, and thanks for covering for me last time too. Yeah. So, what are you doing here? Investigating. Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. Yeah. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The, the troll. <laughs> I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but... I can't imagine why. Had intimidating. Really? Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job. Uh huh. Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register, or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here: Smiths, Jones, Jones. Or Johnsons. I think the last <laughs> ones are jokes. You ever seen snow here? Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her. You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but well, she for didn't real? say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. Did you know Faith? Did you meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. Rachel, Chloe, Max... Oh wait, that's Life is Strange. <laughs> I'll stop, be I'm sorry. If anyone sees you, that they at least see you with me. So they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Yeah, let's go up to get there and... Five minutes, please. I only need two. I mean, what? <laughs> What? <laughs> Who said that? Alrighty, can I get a fresh set of towels? Achievement Listen, unlocked. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Nah. 
do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just... Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. I appreciate it. Is someone writing? Well, here we are. Which one was it? 204. Uh, 207. Someone's having a good time. Are those stains on the bed or? It's a raggedy looking bed. Inspectors through here very often. I don't know. What do you think? I highly doubt it is what I think. I'm never sure why they have desks in a place like this. Finding what you're looking for? I wasn't expecting much in here. But isn't this why you're here? Why do you have the key? No, the key was just to be sure I found the right hotel. This isn't the room Lily was using. Uh-huh. Oh. Let's get to it. So, are we done now? Nope. No. The room they met in was 207. Which is... You know, being used, maybe, by some people, doing things. Knock. Why not? You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. Oh, <sighs> fine. Yeah. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building. Oh. It's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big B? Oh? How could you do this to me? No, I'm not. No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. Yeah, but I like. I took care of you. Yeah, yeah. But like, not what you think. No, but Please? my boy. This isn't what You're you think. No, 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 my boy. Him? No, 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 no. no but my boy. Beast. We're just like trying not. to investigate. Sure, you help each other just great. This is a murder investigation. She's helping me. Stop lying to me. No, 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 my boy. You need to chill. What the, the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife. Yeah, I know, but like my boy, chill. I'm ah! Hey, bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are. Yo, but my boy, we're not like actually. You told me you hadn't seen her. You fucking liar! Listen to your wife. Just. Calm down and beast. Yeah, chill. Oh shit. What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me. She's my wife, Big B. I, I know, you. and I'd bang her, but again. This guy should be way, way, way stronger. Please. Leave him be. This is my fault. Please, no. I oh shit! I pressed it. You gotta be kidding me. This dude is angry as shit. Oh, don't do that. You just blinded him. Yeah, okay, I'll stop. That, that, uh, that went way too far. Way too far. Oh, you prick. Should've killed you. You ruined everything! She's my fuck. Well, at least I'm in the room now. 
Shit, Bigby. What have you done? Shouldn't he be blind? What? What is this? Bigby. Look what you did to the door. You can't just act like this whenever Stand you. Stand back. You, you don't want to see this. There's a lot of blood here. Uh, shit. Shit. What is shit. it? Shit. <gasps> oh my god. Don't touch anything. Is this. Is this. Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then. Must have happened right here. Gross. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? <laughs> oh, dude. Beauty. What? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? Yeah, so surely would have heard it. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. Yeah. I'll explain later, okay? You fucking prick. You started all this. Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? I mean, anyone really, but like, it's usually the quiet down. ones that kind of... I don't know. Bro science, man. Bro science. I can't believe this. Check that. Looks like she was lying down when she was... No! Flowers were already here. Really? How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. No. There. The really? body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. I just can't even imagine. Yeah. Probably good though. Can I not? Okay, I can't look back here. I guess. He brought wine. Yeah, he did. Classy. Well, not really. He killed her. But like. We shouldn't even be in here. A storybook, really? What do you want to fucking read her a tale before she died? What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. Sure. I don't know what that means. The whole book is about her? Fu Fuji? Fu oh, like. Fu okay, cool. Was she breathing? What? Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Sure. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? Um. The bed matches the coffin. He made up the bed to match the coffin and the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. Sure. You mean just before? In the story, that's when he beheaded her and, her. uh. That's our Mr. Smith. This is creepy. The coffin and, and a weird fixation on snow. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Well, with my expertise... No, 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 I'm not gonna pretend to... Yeah. God. Oh, relax here, will you? For my arrival. Someone dropping that fire? Oh, is that the... No, it's a dress. Like she wears in the thing. Someone's been rough with this dress. Oh no, she must have been wearing it. He killed her, and then and then he took it back off. Sort of, maybe. No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. Uh huh. Uh huh. What? What are you thinking? Uh, he likes it rough. The dress make me think our Mister Smith likes to play hard. He's a violent man. Pause. You need the dress to tell you that. Play hard. He's got a thing about snow, and he's got a thing about violence. I think that much was already clear. Oh my god, that poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. Uh-huh. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just um, how does a person... We can't know the answer to that. 
Every situation is different. Sure. Yeah. Well, I look at the ashtray, though. She must have been so scared. It's a huff and puff. <laughs> you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. Or apparently, you Maybe killed her. Didn't see it coming. Oh yeah, the cassette. I forgot that. Yo, is this someone's mixtape? Shit, better be fire. Better be. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of whack. Bigby, this? I think I heard this music last night. It was playing pretty loudly for a while, and then uh -huh. stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here, and I guess I've sure already gotten used to blocking them out. Who'd have covered up the sound of the murder? I doubt it. Damn it! Get it together, Beauty. Be strong. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so. Yes. Uh huh. What an irrelevant question. Nothing else. God. Oh, relax, will you? How can I find out who rented this room? Find whoever has the key? I'm pretty sure this one must be held long term. And we don't keep a register or anything. This place is intentionally kind of anonymous. Sure. I keep hearing that. Anything else? Is there anything else you can tell me about last night? Anything that sticks out in your mind? Sorry, Yo, it was this no, guy with an axe like and he kind of walked in does. Exactly with a weird look on his face. From now on, I'll just be down there imagining this. Well, that's you could get a different job, I guess. I mean, There's like nothing else to look at, right? There's like legit nothing else here. Can I start that shitty music, please? Please stop that shitty music. I'm begging you. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, so there's nothing else in here. Oh wait, no, I saw something there. Yeah, an apple. Do you smell something? An apple. Just apple. Hmm. Oh no, there's more. What? What now? Oh, shut up. It's like the it's apple in the book. Bite taken out of it, like in Snow Story. Oh no! Do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. Yeah. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I'm just having trouble processing all of this. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession, but then there's this other stuff, too. Uh -huh. into sexual violence as well as regular violence, apparently. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Oh, sure. uh, oh a letter. Read the letter. Or it's an envelope, sorry. Whatever. Yeah, but what's usually in an envelope? A letter. Wait, 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 wait. Why did the music get louder? Oh, shit. What? Nope. How do you know? I'm in this one. Oh shit. In last winter. Oh no. Big B. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Yeah. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. Do you? I keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for snow is gone now, so. The next step closer is snow. 
What is it? It's Crane. Oh shit, I fucking called it. I called it. I was just kind of fucking sh talking shit at me ass like, but like I, I fucking called that. I knew it was Crane. Oh, you had to destroy the mirror too, didn't you? I fucking called it though. See his hand all up in their skirt and shit. What? <laughs> I fucking called that. Sh shit. Achievement unlocked. Oh, that's the end of this episode. That's weird. I didn't know that. Okay, fair enough. All right. Uh, guess I'm leaving it here. Could be after you now. Uh, pause. Is that a pause? Did you pause? Can I pause? All right, cool. Uh, yeah. So, okay, I kind of called that one. Weird. Uh, yeah. So, uh, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave a like and a comment if you want. Um, yeah. So that's that for the Wolf Among Us for now. I guess that was super weird. Didn't think I was right on that one. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Good luck.